In a new report released just this morning, the ACLU says a practice by some local and state law enforcement agencies unfairly targets people of color and those in poorer communities. That practice involves seizing the belongings of suspected criminals. It's called civil asset forfeiture. NBC7's Stephen Luke heard from people on both sides of this issue today. The 10-page brief titled Civil Asset Forfeiture Profiting from California's Most Vulnerable highlights the stories of a number of people who had their money and belongings taken by law enforcement, even though the ACLU says they did nothing wrong. San Diego law enforcement agencies frequently use federal law over the more restrictive state law surrounding civil asset forfeiture. This means even before arrests or convictions, they can seize cash and belongings when they suspect the owners are involved in crimes, often drug-related. But there is a fiscal incentive. So using federal law to seize someone's assets, local agencies can get up to 80% of the proceeds back. In this new report, the American Civil Liberties Union contends California agencies are using the tool when they shouldn't and overwhelmingly in low-income neighborhoods. What's more, their findings show 85% of proceeds in this practice go to agencies serving communities of color and half of state DEA seizures involved people with Latino surnames. But with the war on drugs focused heavily on the Latin American drug trade, some say this makes sense. In response, a DEA spokesperson reminded people their focus is to investigate the major drug cartels. Are some bad guys having their assets seized? Sure. But so are a lot of innocent Californians. A taco truck driver, a music promoter, um, a janitorial business owner, um, an 18-year-old on his way to buy a car. A district attorney spokesperson defended the program in an interview with the Union Tribune a few months back, saying it enhances public safety by removing the proceeds of crime and other assets relied upon by criminals to perpetuate their criminal activity. And according to the report, more and more California agencies are taking advantage of this. In 2013, 200. The number's up to 232 this past year. Reporting from downtown, Stephen Luke, NBC7. So the ACLU released its research as part of an organized effort to pass SB 443. That's a California bill which would only allow these seizures when there is an underlying conviction. But the issue is really also gaining attention on a federal level. In fact, just today, Congressman Darrell Issa announced legislation designed to stop what he called civil forfeiture abuse.